I saw some about dress six or so with guns held at the ready. And uh, there was a PJT nurse, the, 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 the electorate in their various lines uh, were getting PJT and it affected one line from the other as a result of which it looked like a consternation. And the manner in which those guns uh, were held uh, was very scary. The guns were, uh, were pointed, uh, would be hit down, but in the direction of the, of the uh, electorate. For the latest, we're crossing live to our reporter Takwane Ngadane, who is in Maseru. Good evening, Takwane. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, polling stations have officially closed. What's the day been like with this election? Good evening, Tabile. It started as a very cold morning, around 4 degrees, but polling stations opened at 7 a.m. sharp where we were. We were able to go around to a few voting stations, including the voting station where the leader of opposition, former Prime Minister Tom Tabane, was going to vote, as well as the polling station where the Deputy Prime Minister Motejwa Metsing and leader of Lesotho Congress for Democracy was going to vote. We also know that the Prime Minister voted in his his Swedike constituency in Krachasnek, but also the leader of the Alliance of Democrats uh, that broke from Prime Minister Musisidi's Democratic Congress also voted in Machache. Now, as you've rightfully pointed out, polling stations closed at 5 o'clock. When we were going around, uh, we understand that uh, voters are supposed to be given time to vote if they're already in the polling stations. But when we're going around, it didn't look like there were any leftover people in the queues in the polling stations. So we expect that as soon as 5 o'clock went, voting would start i mean counting would start and therefore the results will probably start trickling in because as you'll understand if there are nearly 3,000 voting stations around the country to 80 constituencies that would mean that a number of constituencies or rather a constituency has a number of voting stations so they will have to be collated before the results can come through now where i am now is in front of the results center this was opened officially yesterday this is the heart of the results of the Lesotho elections 2017. This is where all the results will come to and so from now onwards everything will be coming through here throughout the next day probably and a half. Looking at the last two elections perhaps the final result will come on Monday not even tomorrow because only tomorrow perhaps uh, the results from far-flung areas and constituencies will start trickling in but then the independent electoral commission will then collate the national vote and allocate seats and then we'll have the final allocation for the 2017 elections in Lesotho. Tabile? Ntakwana, just finally, we know that there were concerns around the army patrols and how uh, citizens had been, or voters rather, had been unsettled earlier on. You've been on the ground. Just briefly, what were they saying with regards to those patrols? Well, Tabile, what we saw earlier on today we were driving towards Liribe. This is where the Deputy Prime Minister was going to vote. We saw an army truck and a van full of soldiers armed. But also then later on when we came back into Maseru, we then met with the chairperson of the Independent Electoral Commission, Judge Lehotla, who then told us that he himself saw army officers walk into a polling station. And this surprised him because the IEC had not requested such support. And as far as he's concerned, the IEC is the one that is supposed to request the support of that kind. Now he has reported to the heads of the observer missions, the African Union, the SADC observer mission, they met with him and we know that he has registered those concerns. But what we now have to wait for is how this uh, will be considered looking at the election. Tabile? Ntakwane, we'll have to leave it there for now. That was our reporter Ntakwane Ngatane joining us from Maseru. We'll check in with her again a little later in the program for an update on the results. For now, though, a short break.